guys, I'm so excited to show you my first look for Halloween this year. If you're new to my channel, I like to post Halloween looks each year. You can check out my videos down below. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on new videos and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing is to work on this costume for Poison Ivy. Only need a few things, hot glue, scissors, and ivy garland. I got about 75 feet of it off of Amazon for pretty cheap, and then I'm gluing all of these leaves onto a bodysuit I found on eBay for about $14. Or you could just use a one-piece bathing suit that you already have that looks similar. The process itself is very, very simple, guys. You just want to lay the leaves down row by row. All of these that are on this area are pointed upwards, and I just put a little bit of hot glue onto the center of the leaf and then pressed it down for a few seconds, and it should hold very well. They shouldn't come off. Once you're finished, the top part of the bodysuit should look something like this. It's got a really cool texture to it because I didn't glue down the entire leaf, just the center of it. So it's got a great 3D effect. So then I did two layers underneath of that of leaves going sideways off to the side to shape out that top area. And then from there, the rest of the layers of leaves are just pointing downward. So the further you go down, the more the leaves are pointing down. The further you go up, the more that they're pointing up. This took me, I would say about like, maybe 45 minutes tops. It really wasn't that bad. It was just having to cut the leaves from the stems took a lot of time, but the actual gluing itself really wasn't that time consuming. So what I would recommend for you guys is to create this costume the night before. That way you don't have to worry about it. You can just slip it right on and then do your hair and makeup the day of that you're gonna actually wear it. I did also put a leaf in the center right where that clear elastic was so that you couldn't see it. It was facing uh, downward in her costume, so I did change that later and make it made it a uh, point downwards too because <laughs> I wanted to try and get it exact as exact as I could. So now we're making the hair pieces. And for this, all you want to do is just cut the stems off of the leaves and then put a little bit of hot glue down in the center and place a tiny black elastic, could be clear elastic, whatever you have, a tiny black elastic right on top of that glue, let it dry, put a little bit more glue on the top so that way for sure it's not coming off. But this is gonna make it so that it's really easy to put the leaves in later into the hair. So I just prepped this actually the night before as well, that way I could let it dry and it was ready to, to uh, put in. To make the ivy that goes around the arm, you just wanna do a tiny little loop, tie a knot, glue it so that it stays Put it on your middle finger, wrap the ivy around your arm, measure out the forearm, pull it off, make another knot, glue it in place, hold the knot there kind of tight so that the glue dries and the knot definitely won't come apart. And you can snip off the ends there. Once it's dried, you can just slip it down your arm, wrap it around, and put it onto your middle finger like a ring. And that is it. Onto the makeup, you're gonna need cotton balls, liquid latex, and also these makeup sponges I found really handy, a spatula and something to put the liquid latex on. I really wanted it to look like the ivy was growing up out of her skin on her face. So to make this idea come to life, I put the liquid latex down on it first so that it would stick to my face. And then I started putting cotton ball on a lot and a lot of cotton ball on to make it look as if the skin was raised and it was being stretched. So the biggest part of this where I wanted the skin to really be raised was in the center where the stem is. So I put a ton of cotton balls there to really raise it up and then I thinned it out into tiny little lines that got thinner and thinner as they came outwards, making them go in different directions to make it look like the skin was being stretched. So this was actually my first time using liquid latex. I was having a hard time with it at first because I kept getting cotton stuck to my fingertips instead of my face, but I figured out a less messy and more effective way to do it as I kept going. So you wanna make sure to break up the cotton balls 
first into little pieces before you get anywhere near the liquid latex and place them on your desk. Start by saturating the area first where you want to place the cotton, then designate one hand to being the cotton hand and use it to lay down small pieces of cotton on top of the liquid latex on your face. And you can hold the cotton in place there with this hand, but try to not get anywhere near the liquid latex with it. Designate your other hand to dipping into extra liquid latex that you have on your palette or in a bowl and lightly brush that over the cotton to saturate and shape it. I continued this all the way up through the stem one thing I do want to say to you guys is be careful not to get this in your hair because it is near impossible to get it out. So what I'd recommend is to rub Vaseline over your eyebrows and hairline just in case. Okay, so moving on to the makeup while waiting for that liquid latex to dry, I used a glue stick in two layers to flatten down my one eyebrow since the other eyebrow was covered. Benefits stay don't stray over the eyebrow and also to prime my eyes. She has very thin eyebrows that arch up way past my eyebrow, so I had to make sure to black that out first and then start drawing in the eyebrow with a liquid lipstick actually for the most like fullest pigmentation. It's from Makeup Forever in 403. I just used an angle brush to get like the perfect thin arched shape. So then we're gonna go into this palette from BH Cosmetics and use this light green eyeshadow, starting from the outer half of the lid, working our way up into the crease. And then once you're in the crease, go to the inner corner and then blend it out past the outer corner, kind of like as a winged out effect with the eyeshadow. I used the light white shade in here to kind of highlight the brow bones and also the inner corner of the eye. Maybelline City Mini Palette, Urban Jungle. There's this awesome dark green that I decided to work into the outer V of the eye. And then I slowly blended that upwards. Then I took the black eyeshadow from the BH palette and I worked that into the outer corner as well, mostly focusing it on the lash line and then just kind of slightly coming up with it to help darken and smoke out the green smoky eye. Did a little winged eyeliner with this Cherry Blooms waterproof liquid liner. I applied some lashes from Kiss. A little bit of powder over that liquid latex since it has dried and I primed my face with face with the Benefit Professional. I used Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation in a 6.5 buttermilk today because it's a little bit on the lighter side but it actually matches me pretty well right now I haven't been tanning so I put that on in a pretty thick full coverage layer there and then once I got it all over my face I worked it onto that liquid latex as well. That way the wound matches the rest of the face. I also set that with a little bit of yellow face powder from Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Kit. You want to use a little bit of concealer to brighten things up under the eye area. I use Catrice Cosmetics High Coverage Camouflage Concealer in Porcelain. I put that under the eyes, down the bridge of the nose, chin, and forehead, and then I made sure to powder over that to set it in place. Back to the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, I'm using that middle shade as a way to bronze up the outer corners of the face. I'm working this through the forehead, cheekbones, and jawline, as well as down the nose for a little bit of contour there. I just patted on the tiniest little bit of blush to the apples of the cheeks and worked it back. This is Makeup Forever Artist Face Color in B402. Going back to the eyes, I basically did the same thing that I did for the upper lash line. All you wanna do is just work through that light green color first from inner to outer corner and make sure to blend that downwards. In the outer half of the lower lash line, you can blend through that darker green from the Maybelline Mini City palette and then go through from the BH palette with that really dark black and just keep that, focus it really close to the edge of the lower lash line and just kind of blend things through so that it all looks nice and smooth. Then I worked through a little bit of mascara through the top lashes to blend them into the falsies and onto the bottom lashes to give them a little bit more definition. NARS 
Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella first to define the bottom and top lip. The same liquid lipstick from Makeup Forever on my lips that I use on my eyebrows. Just kind of perfected the shape, added a little bit of highlight onto my face. So for the wound, to do that, I'm using this Woof Face Paint Kit. It's a professional face painting palette that I ordered on Amazon and it has 12 colors and got amazing reviews. So I was like, oh, I'm so excited. For the first time, I think this actually turned out pretty good. However, this red that I had used first was more on the pink side, which I was pretty unhappy about. It just looks so pink to me, I don't know why. So I went through with some brown over that where I laid the uh, red. In the areas that I wanted it to be darker and more shadowed, and I left the areas that I wanted to look more raised open with no, no paint on them. So then I cut open the liquid latex so that I could have a nice little gash there where the stem pokes through the skin. I just use my tiny little, tiny little scissors to open that up. Painted some black into the hole. And then I added a little bit of purple and just kind of used my finger to blot that on around to give some nice bruising. With a really tiny brush, I worked through black in the areas that I wanted it to look more sunken in just to provide more of a shadow. I felt like there were a lot of areas where you couldn't even see what was going on. So what the black does is it helps to kind of add more definition to see better where all of the dips are and where all of the areas that are raised are. Then I went through with a white paint as a way to highlight the high points of the wound, but it just ended up looking way too white in comparison to my skin, so I ended up going back over that later with some foundation. Coagulated blood from Mayron. The stuff was so fun to use. I am obsessed with this. It's really cool. It's like a syrupy kind of texture that's really thick and it drips. I'd say within like, it's very wet within the first few minutes, but then it does dry down and it doesn't drip anymore. I got this awesome, beautiful copper red lace front wig from Amazon actually for pretty good deals, around like $40 from the brand Charisma. It has two little clips that you clip on on either side near your ear, and then you just pull the front down. However, I have a really annoying widow's peak that likes to peek through every so often. So just in case that happened, I uh, put some concealer on my hair. Gave my hair a little tease to make it look messier. And then I put on the garland that we made earlier. And just slip it on, wrap it up, and then put it on your middle finger like a ring, like I told you guys. And then the hair pieces, so easy. All you have to do is just put the leaf on the piece of hair that you want it to be on, and then wrap the rubber band around the leaf, and it'll hold it in place just like that throughout the day. But the reason why I wanted to do it this way instead of using bobby pins is because I wanted it to look as if the leaves were just kind of like free flowing in the hair. So I love the way that this turned out. Hopefully you guys liked it too. Please drop a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I have more Halloween looks coming soon. Let me know how you guys like this one and I'll see you guys in my next video.